Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a fresh herb extract using withania leaves that we've just picked from the garden. Actually, I've just um, had a little go at this just to test it out. We're testing out the new Omni Blend that we just purchased from Raphael. And um, yeah, it's amazing. So let's begin with the process with um, making fresh plant extract using fresh withania leaf. So what we're going to do is basically We've just picked the fresh tips of the fresh withania leaf, the spring growth, the soft leafy bits. And um, what we're going to be doing is adding that into the blender at about a half a kilo at a time. And then we're going to be adding half a kilo or half a litre of ethanol, I should say, to then blend this up. Because the moisture is already in the plant itself, the water moisture content. And what we need to do is, we need to replicate the actual extraction um, ethanol percentage to reflect how the constituents are extracted from the withania plant in and of itself. So we've got about, we've got just enough in here of withania, fresh leaf and stem and fruit. Now I'm going to pour half a litre of ethanol into the blender, into our Omni Blend, and we're going to test out and see. Now she juices it up, juices up medicinal herbs in the Omni Blend. So this isn't your regular green juice. Here's the, um, the moment of truth. And basically what we're going to be doing is just repeating this process. As you can see here we've got 2.2 kilos of fresh withania leaf and stem. And then we've got the exact same ratio of ethanol to mix in with the blender, with the Omni Blend. And you can see why we've got the Omni Blend because it's actually a pretty heavy duty sort of blending up that we do. Because there's some pretty thick stems in here, pretty thick sort of seed pods and everything. So we need, a, we need a machine that's going to actually be able to handle the workload that we're going to apply to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this on the 35 second cycle again. And, um, and I'll be back to show you what happens when we finish this whole bucket and the whole process. Stay tuned.